As you well know, the Stirling area is doing a deep suffering most from a very accrued shrinkage of the budget. I don't mean a budgie in a cage, just what's asking the other. A real budget, with a colour gold there, sitting in form, and suffering his most, and scratching his head bowl on what can we doom doom. Oh, <laughs> and that is why it's imperative, ah, uh, for this country to go over to the decimal coinage. Oh, yes. Now, apart from reducing the overall purchasing power of the consumeroidy, now, I'll explain that later because we can stitch up one eardrobe because the other doesn't matter. <laughs> this will make it easier for us to gain an entry into the common market. Now, this is a metric throw which you put in a point dot. This is something not as a vulgar fraxy hode because, after all, uh, this is a bit archaic for that. Oh, no. De Gaulle lava by the shouty. <laughs> now, <laughs> the principle of the decimal coinage is basically very, very simple. Every pound will become it ten shilly, which reminds us of the old saw. The Chancellor of the Exchequer Mose counted half your blessing, the pound look after itself. <laughs> <laughs> the question then arises, how will you know how much? This is quite simple. Load. Right. The present two forty pence of the power load, divide by two, put in the decimal coil, adjust them under the corpse and the currents in the bank rate rising form, add a point two of a pen to every shilly, turn the result in the half crams, originally eight of the power load, turn it half a load down, stuff it in the bocker, print your own the willy catching up in the attic. <laughs> <laughs> of course, there won't be any shillies under the new system. We probably can't have the penny load either, but one thing you can say about the decimal coiny coiny system is that there is a point to it all. And don't think it's a facetious when there's a point dotty point dotty stuff in it and move there for the getting the right value. Oh no. <laughs> the budgetary system will adjust itself accordingly and all the salaries will immediately subgee to the levies at source for the Gandhi. Oh. <laughs> now, the important thing to remember is this, that once we get the decimal system going, the national debt will go into the trade gabber, never be seen a gale, while the exports harvey in the cost and doubly up in their value. Ah, yes. But they will rise and then be multiplied by the number of times Mr. Callie Hohan appears in it on the televisor or the square goggle box of the glass eye knot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, one last thing. If when changing your pound sterling into the new units... Oh. Don't worry if you get any small change left over. The Indian Revenue will see to it for you on the time honorary principle of the form fill pocket to the public spending spree. Nick all the neckery and Bob your hinko. <laughs> uh, any worries about this, address your inquiries to the, um, the Honourable uh, Crothus Cooper O'Nickley, Volters, Duke of Heed, NW through. I'll repeat that. <laughs> The Right Honourable Vicro Cupro Nickley Throw, the Vaulters, which is a public house here on the left hand side, or not that through on the left, uh, Bank of Heed, North Doe Throob. Oh, yes. Thank you.